Hi, thanks for joining me. My name is Tim Marble. Today I want to talk about rapport. They say with rapport anything's possible, and they say without rapport nothing's possible. So let's think about what the heck is rapport. Rapport is a lot of different things. Rapport could be could be body language. Which might include mirror and match. Well, that all sounds good, but what's mirror and match? Well, mirror and match is basically following your customer's moves as they move through their process. You know, I've always found it funny when, when I have this discussion and I always go around the room and I ask, hey, you know what, if I approached you and my arms were crossed, am I unapproachable? And I find it funny that a lot of people feel like they, that I'm closed off, I'm not willing to talk to you, which is what some people say. And I'm not disagreeing at points that could be the case. But I want you to remember this and always keep it in your mind. Customers like people that are like them. What does that mean? That means if a customer comes up to you with his hands in his pocket, put your hands in your pocket. Walk up, you can transition while you're talking. You know what, if a customer has his hands clasped in front, make him comfortable. Here's what I want you to do is watch when you're in a party next time and see what happens to guys that are hanging out talking to each other. The gals are all standing in one corner or in a circle and they'll all talk and guess what, they're all doing the same thing. The more that your body language is similar to your customers, the more comfortable they become with you. So I challenge you when your customer comes up with his arms crossed, you know, when I start my meet and greet, I might start and say, Hi, welcome to Group 1 Automotive. My name is Tim, and yours? Have you been here before? Are you here to see anybody in particular? Great, I have three responsibilities to you. Number one, provide you with all the information you need. Number two, help you select the best car. And most importantly, do this in a timely manner. Does that sound fair? So here's what I'd like you to do now. We're going to do a little bit of a role play. I want you to pair up with somebody. What I'd like you to do is get to know them a little bit better. Have a conversation. But what I, the most important thing I want you to do without having to think about it a whole lot is whatever they're doing with their hands, follow them. But if they cross their arms, then find a time and a transition to cross your arms. As you're talking, there's going to be times when they move and let's say they put their hands behind their back during your conversation, because we all use our hands to talk, Transition into having your hands back behind your back. So mirror your partner. Let's take about 10 or 15 minutes, pair up, let's role play that. I think you'll have a fun day. Good time. Why did you screw that up?